Hello, welcome back. Short but sweet video today. So we're gonna go through the Black Templars box set price. And then we're gonna have a brief look at the other things that are coming out next week. Now they are all Games Workshop exclusives, so we don't have any pricing for them yet. Also, we're gonna tie off with a little look at the content for Warhammer Plus this week. So starting with the Black Templars, the price for the new box set is gonna be 125 pounds, 155 euros. Now pricing for dollars and Australian dollars isn't confirmed, but based on other items that are around about that price, that means we're gonna be looking at between 200 and 210 US dollars and around about 350 Australian dollars. So what does that get us? Where do we make any savings from what comes up in the future from that? Well, in terms of just the models themselves and the cost of the models, I reckon that this is roughly going to be the combat patrol box that comes out in around about a month's time. So the the other releases for Black Templars is around the corner. There's not a long wait at all. So based on what we've got in here, models wise, we've basically got an £85 combat patrol box with probably an extra character in there, an extra character model. So... Yeah, so not, not a big difference between the miniatures in this box, the set, the army box, and what we'll get in a combat patrol box. There is a funky codex, obviously limited edition codex, and I suppose we should have a little word on availability of this box. It's going to go lightning fast, obviously, so we haven't got long to wait if we miss it. To be fair, we're only, we're only looking at a month, so most of us probably won't get our hands on it on the day it launches, but yeah, we won't have to wait long to wait to get it again. And then we get some data cards. So all told, we, there is a decent saving to be made there. We get everything a month early for the rest of the releases and we get the exclusive codex on there as well. So it's all, all pretty good. Um, I reckon that savings wise, we're talking about maybe 40 quid, approximately $70, something like that. So yeah, all looking pretty good. Personally, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick this up or not. I'm, I'm erring on a no just because I suffer, like many other people, I suffer from major FOMO. Um, I'll probably be itching on Saturday morning whether or not I'm gonna order this or not, but I think I'm gonna stay away. Um, I don't play Black Templars, and um, yeah, it would just be another box to the collection that I don't need and probably won't pay. But yeah, so for as long as there's enough of people like me who are happy to stay away from this, I'm sure the real fans will hopefully, for the most part, manage to get a box themselves. Now, coming from the deep, dark recesses of Blood Bowl, we've got two old teams coming back in metal. So first of all, we've got these Amazons, um, and then we've got the Tomb Kings. Now, this is a timed release, so anyone that pre-orders this, over the course of, I think it's about a week or 10 days, um, they're going to make them to order, and you'll get a delivery later on. They are all in metal, so they will be fairly expensive. Um, but yeah, if you want Amazons or Tomb Kings, they're going to be coming along soon. Personally, I was hoping that these guys were going to get their own proper full Blood Bowl release with new updated models and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not going to get these for now. I would prefer to kit bash some newer stuff to get Amazons and Tomb Kings. But yeah, they look pretty cool. And finishing up today, a brief look at what's coming up on Warhammer Plus this week. So we've got a battle report. Oh, uh, it is a AOS one, Stormcast Eternals versus Beast Claw Raiders. And we also get another painting masterclass, and that is on gems. Over in the vault, we get four more editions of White Dwarf, plus we get Balance of Power from Age of Sigmar. Um, I really, honestly, I haven't taken advantage of what's in the vault so far. Um, we are probably, I think we're five or six weeks into Warhammer Plus. Um, I haven't fully taken part in what's going on in the vault. Um, and I potentially might not. I think this might be the last month before I cancel my subscription for Warhammer Plus. Um, I'm not saying it's bad content. I'm saying it's just I'm not, I'm not overly enjoying what's available. The trickle of content is a little bit too slow for me. And whilst I like all the individual parts, so I do enjoy the battle reports they do. They're very good. Um, but not everyone interests me. I like the Lore Masters um, show. I think that is very good. But again, I didn't watch the Techlist one because I've got no interest in Techlist. Um, 
and I think that's roughly how it's going to play out for me and, and a lot of you guys as well. Um, in terms of the animation stuff, I've gone through that in the past. I'm not overly impressed with it. I did enjoy it, Hammer and Bolter, and I'm glad we've got another one this week. Hammer and Bolter was badly let down when they released the Orc one. Um, there, was, there was a single Orc episode which was released the week before Warhammer Plus. That was comfortably the worst show or episode of anything that's been on uh, Warhammer Plus so far. So I think they let themselves down there. So everything else I've seen for Hammer and, Bo Hammer and Bolter I've really enjoyed. And I'm glad for this week's one as well. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this little roundup this week. I'll see you again next week for the same sort of thing. And I've got some cool stuff coming up this week as well. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.